All right, here's the next little project. It's like a hammer wrench. Uh, it says, see it, um, something wrench company, Worcester, Massachusetts, USA. And then it's got some other writing here. I can't see it. it's uh, underneath the rust. So it functions fine. Um, it's got a high spot here where somebody would used it as a hammer probably and dinged it. Um, so I'll have to file that down. So my challenge is going to be reduplicating this wooden handle. Um, I've seen some YouTube videos where the people put like a brass rod and then, you know, mushroom the head out on each side. I was just taking a look at this. It looks like this might be a washer. And then they just hammered the piece of metal to secure it in place. I don't know. Um, so, and then, as you can see here, this is raised up, so I'll have to trim that back a bit. It's pretty beat up on the handle side. But I don't know whether I'm going to re-blue it or just try to keep the patina on it, but I know once I do the grinding down here, it is going to change the color, so... Um, this will be an experiment. Um, one of my friends had given me this piece of wood um, and my thought was I was going to cut it in two and then just glue both halves together and then split it and then try to make the handle with it. Um, but he was saying, he said, you know, why don't you just use an axe handle? So I did save this from the, the Boy Scout Hatch Restoration uh, video link will be there. Um, I'd like to try to use this and bring it back to life because this is pretty old. Um, it does have a, a crack here in the wood though. Um, and I'm not sure if it has enough, if it's thick enough to be able to do both sides of this handle. So I'm going to try. I've got a bandsaw. I just got to figure out how to rest this in place so when I do the bandsaw I don't, you know, it doesn't get all wobbly on me. If not, from that same video, this was the first head that I had messed up and I had taken too much wood out of here. This is a little bit thicker. I'll do the same thing. I'll try to stick it in the bandsaw, trim it down, and then uh, make the handle out of it. So since this piece is cracked, I really can't salvage it. But if I take this out, it might push this pin out the other side so I can see how the other side is attached, then try to use this as a template sort of for the new piece of wood. So they, I don't know how they did this. There's the piece of wood here they carved out to stick in here to keep it in place. Interesting.
here's a close-up after I've taken the one side of the handle off. Looks like they put this end cap on after it's assembled because I can see two different pieces of metal there. Um, the wooden handle goes into the actual metal part and it also is tucked up in here. That's how they kept it in place. The other videos that I've seen with people doing this, they usually use epoxy to keep the wood on. I'll probably have to do that uh, myself. I'm going to do some research online to see if I can't buy this piece or figure out how to reduplicate this. If not, I'll do the piece of brass and mushroom out the ends to, you know, give it a little bit of a look. But I'm, I'm unfortunately, I'm going to have to do the epoxy on this because I won't be able to get that off. Well, I wasn't. <clears throat> I won't be able to save this and use it as a template, so I'll just have to do measuring because, like I said, the wood is tucked up under both of these pieces of metal here. So I'm just going to have to cut this out and then cut off this. Uh, I don't know if you'd call it a rivet, but that's what I would call it. Um, and I was wondering, maybe I, I might be able to find a Chicago screw that's this long but the only thing is the slotted end might be hard on the hand although I don't really know if anybody's gonna be using it but I don't know still have to figure out how I'm gonna reduplicate this Hopefully I don't set off the smoke detector here in the garage. Uh, now that I got the pieces of wood off, this piece actually turns. I wish it was threaded, but I don't know if this is focusing or not. Um, They kind of just mushroom this tip out just a little bit. Let's see if I can't duplicate that. So they well out some of the piece of um, handle. So it goes around this metal piece that's on both sides. So I'll have to duplicate that. And the only way to get this thing off was to cut it. So. I'm going to ask some of the gentlemen I know which have a lot more experience with me in dealing with older tools see if they have any suggestions for me um, to try to reduplicate this. Let's get some of this loose. Rust off of here. All right, now my favorite part, put it in the Vaporust stuff and let it sit about 12 hours and take a look at it. So I'm gonna get down this bandsaw. It was my father's. This thing probably has not been turned on at least for 20 years or more. So hopefully it's gonna work. Now before I plug this in, I'm going to remove this cover and just see if there's any points which might need a little grease or oil or something because I don't have an instruction book for this.
other than it looking just a little dusty, it's all dusty inside. It's got a fan belt. These are probably sealed bearings in here. I'm going to have to get one of those tools to be able to separate those. Um, that little lock washer, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look like there's anything I really need to lubricate on this. So hopefully this belt won't break on me. Clean out some of this sawdust. So as I'm turning it again, it's not plugged in right now. This little piece of brass is not spinning. Um, and that could probably wear away at this belt. Um, I pull the belt off. I don't know if you can see it. This does turn. So I'm going to see if I can't get some grease on that piece there. I wish there was like a holder for this tensioner here. Um, I'm just going to try to put some silicone spray in this thing. So I can't figure out how to get this, I don't know if it's called a locking washer, but this piece off. I've tried pushing it down. I'm going to eventually have to buy some of those tools, but it's spinning more freely now. I'd like to get this off so I can totally clean underneath it because I know there's going to be some sawdust in there, but it is spinning more freely. So I'll just put a little bit more silicone on there and uh, then put this back together again. Yeah, as you can see now, it's actually turning, so that's a good thing. All right, fingers crossed. I just need to figure out some type of sled or something so I'll be able to split this piece of wood in half without it wobbling all over the place. So I think rather than trying to feed this whole thing through, I'm going to cut it in half because I think this piece might be too thin. This piece should be about the right diameter that I need but I've got I don't know if you can see this I'll try to move it there's a split right here in the wood and I don't know when I cut this if this piece is just gonna fly off or not so the first step is to trim this down and then I'm gonna try to fix this to a block so that I can push it through straight now here's my little homemade Attachment. I think I've got it pretty straight up and down. So do the first cut this way and then just slowly try to split this in two. So I put some more silicone spray inside on the parts that I could. Um, I did have this turned off, or, or sorry, this cover off and turned it on. Don't ever do that, it's scary as heck. But in adjusting the variable speed, the belt on one of the flywheels was shifting off and rubbing. And then if I backed it down, it would go the other way. So I have it current, 
currently, oops, currently in a spot where the belt is where it should be. Um, so this might be a slow going uh, little attempt. If it's really slow, I'll just speed up uh, this part of the video. So I think even if I sped this up, it's going to be quite a long time. So I'm just going to play around with this, try to lubricate this up some more, and try to get this to work. Well, this is as far as I got, and then I thought maybe the belt broke, but it's actually the blade just broke on me. But I do have an extra blade, so I'm glad it wasn't the belt that broke. Maybe that was the problem. Um, maybe the belt was just too stiff from being in a certain position all these years. This other one I have is all round, so maybe this one will work a little bit better. Uh, let me go uh, replace this blade. 